Howdy everyone, and welcome back to my LP of Pokemon Silver. In the last episode, I fought Chuck, the gym leader of Cyanwood City, and earned the Storm Badge in the process. Afterwards, immediately, I earned HM number 2 Fly, which now I can fly to any town that I've already visited, so no more backtracking on my bike. But you already knew that. I fought a couple of trainers that I needed to fight in Union Cave, just in case that I would forget about forget about them later on, so I just took care of them and just got them over with. After that, I headed over to the lighthouse of Olivite City, where I had to rescue a Pokemon from a certain illness. That would be the lighthouse Pokemon, Amphi, which is an Ampharos. Jasmine was there, present, so she would accompany it, but she didn't want to leave, so I had to go get the secret potion and help out. And because I did my job, Jasmine is now back in her gym, the one that I'm standing right here. Before the episode began, this episode that is, I fought the remaining three trainers in the lighthouse, and that was enough to get my honey up one level at level 32. So in this episode, the first thing I'm going to do is take on Jasmine and get the sixth gym badge. Toast will do all the glory in this one. Don't worry, it won't take long. Because there's no trainers other than the gym leader herself. Since I've already saved my game in front of the gym, I don't have to save right here. So, with that being said, let's go get that badge. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Toast will do just fine, especially that you just learned a uh, flame wheel. The three trainers I fought in the lighthouse, they had obscure names that I couldn't find any way to make fun of those names and try to pair them up, pair them up with names that I know of. Um, just so you know, I'm not going to have Flame Wheel for very long, I'll tell you this. Flame Wheel will be on Toast for just a few levels, you shall see soon enough. Against this Magnemite, he has Quad Weakness to Dig, so let's go for that. Jasmine has two Magnemites at level 30, and then her best one is a Steelix at level 35. Nope, you're not hitting Thunder Wave on me. Screw you. That should be a one hit KO, yes. And of course, I'll do the same thing for the other Magnemites. That's no problem. But will she use Magnemite in the next one? No, she's going right for Steelix. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Man, I sure wish I still had Steelix on my team for my initial run of... My initial Let's Play of Pokemon Silver using the game pack. <sighs> oh well. So for this one, I think it's safe to say that I'll use Flame Wheel because Steelix has high defense and Dig will probably won't do much even though Steelix is weak to it. Let's see what this does. Oh good. That's really good. Oh shoot! Watch out Toast! Hang in there! Oh just half, okay. Finish it. Oh! Are you serious? Actually it shouldn't matter because since I'm faster than Steelix... I'll just have Jasmine waste all of her hyper potions. The dumb phony. How's that feel? And again, yes. Yep, this this is a pretty simple fight if you have a fire type Pokemon, or even a ground type. I think fighting type works as well. Well, there. If I fight this Magnemite, I might get a level up. Hmm. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Also, I got thinking. When I was surfing over the ocean on my way to Cyanwood City, how can Toast dig through the water? Do you know what I mean, right? It's crazy. He's pro he probably swims all the way down to the bottom of the ocean, then digs there. That'd be impossible. You would drown. Not to mention that Toast is a fire-type Pokemon. He's weak to water. Anyways, Jasmine, you're beat. Can I get this level up? Ah, oh, darn shun. I'll just fight, fight, uh, fight someone in the wild and just cap it off there. You are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with league rules, 
I confer upon you this badge. The Mineral Badge. Six down, ten to go. Two from Johto and eight from Kanto, that is. Mineral Badge raises Pokemon's defense. <laughs> and that's all it does. It doesn't do any benefits from an HM or it doesn't, like, uh, get, increase, like, the obedience of your Pokemon to a certain level or anything like that. Um, please take this, too. TM number 23 contains Iron Tail, a very powerful Steel-type move that has 100 power, but it has 75 accuracy. It does miss very often. It does have a chance to lower... Which one is it? I think it's Defense. I'm gonna look it up right now. Attack it. That may reduce Defense. Hey, I remembered right. I wonder who can learn it. I don't think I'm gonna teach it to anyone, though. Toast, Grits, and pancake. Hmm. I could teach it because there are some moves that might help out. I think Grits has Quick Attack that I can get rid of. Pancake has Swift. Well, I could just sell it for money. No, you know what? Actually, Toast has Quick Attack too. I just realized. No, I'll just teach it to Grits. I'll get rid of Quick Attack. Give this a little bit extra type coverage. There you go, Grits. Just in case I run into like a rock type or something. But again, Iron Tail is only temporary. I won't have that for very long. Uh, also, as you would notice, I sold a couple of the other TMs that I did not need, so I cashed those out and put Fly in the PC box. I also sold all my Poison Care Berries because uh, I haven't got poisoned very often in this Let's Pet. Play, even though I have been paralyzed more, so I'll keep the paralyzed care berries for a little bit longer. Okay, enough of me rambling inside this gym, let's head back out. Uh, oh yes, I gotta go back out into the wild and get Toast up a level. Yay! Just four more levels to go! What's your stats at? Yeah, your special attack is high just like I thought. Special defense is almost on par with speed, that's kind of surprising to me. Okay, so, now that I have six badges, let me put Toast on the bottom somewhere. Who should I put on top? I'll put Grits on top. Maybe I might have use for that Iron Tail, just before I get rid of it eventually. Okay, let me fly to Ecritique City. And, oh yeah, in the last episode, I also picked up the last item in the Burnt Tower, which was TM number 20, Endure. Since Hash Browns already has Endure, I uh, just sold the TM. Hey Nurse Joy, here's your glass of grape juice, your slice of toast, plate of Hash Browns, and pancake, and uh, grits, and, and it's all drizzled with honey. A hearty nutritious breakfast. The deluxe breakfast. There you have it. Now, since the western part of Ecritique City is done and over with for now, even though I'll come back for Whirl Islands later on, now it's time to head east towards, what's the place called? Mahogany City. So, oh, I didn't bring water with me or my tentacle, so I can't surf over here. And I think it's dark, too. I think I know my way around, but I'm going to play it safe and bring cut cheese with me, so I'll be right back. Actually, I brought both of them. So now I can use Flash in the cave, and I can also surf through the body of water in front of the mountains. I'll take both routes, because I gotta show you around anyways. The first thing, the first one of the two, will be inside the mountain. Alright, let's use that Flash move right here. And I'm also going to use a Super Repel. I only have three, so I gotta be very meticulous about this. And I also, also forgot too, it was a couple episodes ago that I talked about the Swarm Pokemon. Meryl is the other Pokemon that I was thinking of, and it appears right in this area of this mountain. Um, as a matter of fact, this place is called Mount Mortar. Anyways, let's head over here and pick up some items. Here's the first one, just an ether. I'll just cash that in. Back this way. I don't think there's any trainers in the 
front part of Mount Mortar. I know there's one trainer, but he's not going to appear until a whole lot later. I'll come back to that boulder in just a moment. I'm going to go over here first. Oh, get through the ladder. This is oh, just a guard spec. I will not be using that anytime soon. Any other items? No. All right. Uh, let me head through here because I know there's a hidden item right here. <laughs> Another hyper potion. Uh, hyper potion after hyper potion after hyper potion. I'm not mad at it. I mean, hyper potion is a great item. Now let's head back to this little boulder right here. Oh, hash browns, you got a job to do. It's just two pushes. Thank you. I think that su uh, super repel is going to wear off very soon. <laughs> Dead end. Go this way. Let's see. Nothing there. How about this way? Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh, I'm just down to one more to go. Just gotta be very careful. How about this way? I'm not sure if there's a hidden item on that platform up there. I'm not gonna take my chances. I don't think there is. Alright, there's nothing there, so I'll head back up through here. Let's head over here. Nothing there. And up in there either, so let's head back this way. How about this rock? Nope. This one? How about this one? There's another item. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're everywhere. It's all kinds. Where's another place I haven't been through? Over here. Nope, nothing there. I think there's a hidden item up there, but it won't. I can't get there until a lot later. I'll tell you this, I need the Waterfall HM to reach that. How about these, this area? Nothing? Nope. I'm pretty sure there's one more item. There it is. Uh, since I have Dig, I probably don't need it. But I'm gonna get rid of Dig very soon, so... Whatever. I don't think there's anything else around here. Is there anything... Oh, Whoa, oh crap, let me use my last super repel, just to make sure, because I'm almost done this part. I just want to scan this area one more time. Let's go through here and drop down. Head through here. Well, I don't think there's anything here. Mm, no, screw it. Um, I think that's it. Maybe there's something over there, because I can't reach it unless I go all the way back around. So let's, let me do that. Uh, please don't wear off Super Repel. Please don't. I'm almost done. Jump over here. Anything? Come on, there's got to be something here. Come on. Are you serious? How about this rock? Nope, there's nothing. I think that is it for this area, so... I guess it's safe to say we can leave. That's pretty much all there is for the first part. Oh, shoot! There's no other items either, and the exit's right down there. Ah, poop! Come on, baby, almost there? Okay, made it. Alright, two trainers, I'll try to avoid those. And a fisherman, too. Now, let's surf back towards Ecrotic City, because there's probably a... Uh, jeez. Let's see. Ooh, there's an item. A super potion. Oh, jeez. It'd been funny if it was a hyper potion. This is more about Mount Mortar. It's also where it leads to the certain waterfall that I need to get to when I get the HM later on. That leads to that certain rock that I just told you about just a couple of minutes ago. But again, I... Well, actually, I can... Uh, the, uh... How am I supposed to say this? I can explore a little bit of the cave, but it's going to lead to a dead end eventually, and it's only just a couple of items, too, so... I might as well save all of it for a little bit later and come back here and get it all in one clean sweep. Now, down here, there's only three bushes. These are three other apricorn bushes. One of them is a certain color. I'm going to take a guess that it's yellow. If you take the yellow apricorn to Kurt and make a Pokeball with it, you'll get the Moon Ball. What the Moon Ball does is, you can catch a Pokemon, 
that gives you a, I'm going to take a guess and say that it is a times 4 or a multiplier of 4 for a catch rate if you, you, if you catch a Pokemon that evolves with a Moonstone. So, qualifiers are Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Nidorina, and Nidorino. Here's the thing, there is a certain rumor going around, I should look this up and see if it's true or not. But, the, uh, if you use the Moon Ball on a Pokemon, there's nothing over here, it's just back to Ecrotique. Anyways, if you use the Moon Ball on a Pokemon that does not evolve from Moonstone, it should be just a plain one times multiplier. But here's the rumor, here's what I've heard about. The, uh, the multipliers are reversed for the Moon Ball, so if you use it on a Pokemon that evolves with a Moonstone, it's times one, otherwise it's times four. So if that is true, that would be the best Pokeball, Pokeball to use in this game other than the Master Ball. How crazy is that? Again, I, I think it's just a rumor, but I'll have to look it up and, and see it for myself. Okay, I don't know why I'm looking at Grit stats for. Okay, I'm going to have to cut through the bushes right here so I can avoid that trainer. Might as well avoid him too. Okay. I'm going to get my bike out. Shoot, he's looking to the right a lot. I'm going to close my eyes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, did it. Alright, Mahogany City. There's the gym, but I can't get to it yet. Let me go heal. I don't think I needed to heal, but better safe than sorry. Over here is a guy that blocks your way again and doesn't want to let you through. Hi, Sunny Boy. I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a Yummy Rage Candy Bar. Right now, it can be yours for just $300. Want one? Um, no. It's the only way you can get a Rage Candy Bar, but all it does is cure 20 HP. It's the same HP uh, gain as well as the price of a potion. So, just forget that. This is a particular shop. Welcome. How may I help you? The tiny mushrooms and slow poke tail? Oh, these are terrible items. Screw off. I'm not buying anything from you. Alright, so there's not really much I can do here yet. The next thing to do is head north. Through here. Um, it's not this guy that I want to speak to. I'll speak to him anyways. Only people headed up to Lake of Rage have been through here lately. Nope, I knew it. It's not this guy. There is a te the, an attendant from this building. But he's not in it yet. Instead, it is... Two Team Rocket members! Oh no! What do you want? Hold it there, mister. The toll is 1,000 Pokédolls to go through. Thank you, sir. Well, shucks. If you go through this building while Team Rocket is in there... You are forced to pay a thousand Poké Dollars. So, since I'm down a thousand Poké Dollars, I'll just leave it as that. I'll just jump right back down here and take the other way around. Just go through here. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna leave Gretz on top, just in case I run into any of these optional trainers by accident. Come on, baby! Okay, made it there. I could surf over here. I'm not sure if there's a berry bush, though. Let me check. There is! Thank goodness I have uh, my Paris with me, too. Alright, cut the cheese. <clears throat> there. This is a... <laughs> just a bitter berry. Oh, jeez. Well, I might get confused, but then again, I don't really think I need it. You know what? As a matter of fact... Where is it? There it is. Get out of here! You don't belong in my bag. I don't need you. Not to strum my own banjo and to blow my own kazooie. Anyways. Let's head back over. Alright, get on my bike! Oh shoot. Oh god. Ugh. Now, okay, good. I'll just go around here. Just to make sure I don't run into any more. Yeah, it's all bushes here. Okay, if I remember right, one of these two trainers mentions my rival's name. I'm gonna speak to this one on purpose, even though he's an optional trainer. Right, yep, it's this one. Where'd you get this? Some poop guy <laughs> made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon is great. If I were to use Stinky instead, it would be some stinky guy made fun of my Pokemon. It would be really hilarious. I'm not sure if I'll have to fight him. Uh, 
I'm gonna find out. Nope, I didn't have to. Cool. But the thing is, I don't want to go up here yet. I want to head back down and through here. Oh, I gotta avoid him. Okay, good. And through here. Okay, good. There might be a couple of hidden items. Maybe right here? Yep. Full restore. That is really good. There's probably two or three more items, but it's getting... It's really redundant to cut all these trees. There's just so many around here. Now, there should be a guy here on Wednesdays that will give you an item, but instead there should be a hidden item. Rare candy! Very nice. Alright, now I'm gonna go around again. Make sure I'll get that item as well. More trees. Alright, cut cheese. <laughs> there. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, I gotta go this way and get the item. Might as well. I'm not sure what Pokemon fall out of these trees. I'm assuming it's Spearow, Apom, and Heracross. I'm not going to bother, though. Because I don't need to do any of that. Alright, there should be one more item before I get to that house over there. And, yep, there it is. There's also a hidden item down there. TM number 43, I wonder what that is. It's not Sky Attack, because that's from Generation 1. Detect. It works sort of like uh, Protect, except you only get 5 power points, and I think it's a fighting type for a move. Even though it does the same thing, it tries to evade uh, the opponent's attack. Again, that hidden item is right on the corner of that lake. I'll have to come around and get it, and I think it's a max potion, if I remember correctly. I need to come in here, though. You have strayed far. Here, I have here I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this, child. TM number 10 contains hidden power. Its power ranges between 31 and 70, based on a certain arithmetic formula using like your IVs and your mods or whatnot and the type of the move also depends on the Pokemon using it and that's also using some arithmetic formula using like the mod uh, the modular thingamajig and whatnot do you see it it is hidden power it draws out the power of Pokemon for attack and remember this its type and power depends on the Pokemon using it now this TM is gonna go towards gloom but I'm not going to teach it quite yet I'll hold on to it for now I guess I'll meet you back where the two trainers are all right here I am let's just say the sign I'm thinking of route 43 like a rage ahead and here we are the Gyarados are angry it's a bad omen did my eyes deceive me I saw a red Gyarados in the lake but I thought Gyarados were usually blue. It's all thanks to Team Rocket forcing the Magikarp in the Lake of Rage to evolve into Gyarados. That's why that Gyarados in the lake is red. Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by Rampage and Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. If you come back later, you can have a little, uh, contest with this guy. Fishing Guru's house. So what it is that he wants you to catch a Magikarp from the Lake of Rage and then bring it back to him. He will tell you how big the Magikarp is and then you can set your own personal record. Now, let's go get that hidden item I mentioned a moment ago. I don't think you're a trainer. I heard this lake was made by Rampage and Gyarados. I wonder if there is any connection to their mass outbreak now. Right here. Hey, I was right. Cool. I could sell that and get a hyper potion instead and make a little money, but I can't remember how much max potions sell for. Maybe 1250? I don't know. Anyways, do I have... I do, I have water with me. So, I'm going to use... I'm going to put Pancake on top. For the next fight. 
Let's head over to that red Gyarados. Ah, jeez, um. I'm gonna make sure I need to save my game because this is a uh, Pokemon that I need to capture. Again, since I have a full party of six Pokemon already, it's just it's just that this Gyarados will be the replacement for Tentacool. Let's do this, Gyarados. Bing, 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 bing. Probably the only shiny Pokemon I'll ever run into in this Let's Play. Right, I have Pancake on top because I can do this. And of course I go slower. I'm not gonna use Thunder Punch because that would knock it right out. I guess I'm gonna have to use Swift. Still did do very much. I don't want to use Fire Punch, because that's, that's probably going to do even less. Come on, Pancake. Don't let those layers fool you. Ooh, should I use another Swift? Let me see what Fire Punch does for damage. Let's see. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one more Swift. Now, Pancake, don't crit its pants. Don't knock it out. Ooh! Very close. But that's how I like it. Holy crap. Those leers really did me in. Okay, let's see what I got. Just Great Balls and Ultra Balls. Let's go with the Great Balls. Gyarados, you're mine. One. One shake? No way. Ah, sorry, Pancake. You've been devoured. Yummy, battered goodness. Who should take its spot next? Hmm. I should have brought Gloom with me. Let's send out Hash Browns. He could tank a little bit here while I try to catch the Red Gyarados. Come on, Great Ball. One, two, three. Nice. There. Now, what should I name this Gyarados? He's red. Well, it shows him blue on the Pokedex. Uh, hmm. What other breakfast foods can I think of? Jeez, I don't know. Hey, maybe I should name it the same nickname that I was going to give it to Kingdra. That's what I'll do. Coffee. It sounds like coffin. All right, let's head back and oh, that's right. I gotta get this red scale first. Don't forget to give that to Mr. Pokemon when I get the chance to. And look, a new person. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magic Carp is being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Marcus. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Marcus. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? <laughs> I I was almost going to say no, but I think he's just going to stand there. Oh well. Excellent! It seems that the lake's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Marcus. And he just teleports. He must be a magician. Okay, back to... Mahogany Town. First thing I'm gonna do is trade in that. Well, you know what? I really don't need to get that Gyarados out yet. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's put Tentacool away for good, because I won't be needing him anymore. I will withdraw Coffee. Oh, he's up there. Let's teach him those, uh, HM's right now while I am here. There's Surf. Right here. It's just imagine cough it the Gyarados is gonna use Surf and it's all coffee instead of water. That would burn a whole lot of Pokemon. Uh it really doesn't matter, I'll just get rid of Leer. What's the levels of my Pokemon right now? Okay, Honey and Toso 32. Pancakes fade, so I gotta go heal anyways. Uh, let's see. What about the stats? 
Umbreon is halfway. I think that's it. So I'm going to put Grits on top. Oh, Nurse Joy! Can you heal my Pokemon, please? Okay. To end this episode, I'll enter this building right here. It's Lance. Dragonite, Hyper Beam! That wasn't a Hyper Beam! That was a Tackle! Hyper Beam should have been like a... I don't know. A Kamehameha? Killing Goku there. What took you, Marcus? Just as I thought. That strange radio signal is coming from here. Get out of my way! The stairs are right here. Marcus, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. And there you go. Lance has discovered the secret Team Rocket hidden base in this little shop. And I'm going to call the episode good right here. I think I might as well... Should I or shouldn't I? Should I get Grits up a level before the start of this episode? The next episode? Nah, I won't do any grinding. As soon as this episode is done, within the next, like, couple of moments, I'll just go right to the next episode without without any grinding at all. So there you go. Next time on my LP of Pokemon Silver, I enter the basement and go after Team Rocket and try to stop the signal that's been forcing the Magikar Magikarp to evolve at the Lake of Rage. Okay, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. And like I always say, I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.